Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video provides an overview of the feature-rich control board and expansion board in the HCT DCU Specialty Overhead Operator. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. The HCT DCU operator uses the same control board as the Liftmaster DCU series pad mount gate operators. The HCT DCU wiring diagram provides an excellent reference for the many features on the control and expansion boards. Take some time to look over the wiring diagram to familiarize yourself with the variety of devices that can be connected to this product. A feature that is unique to the HCT DCU is Fast Open. This high speed open option facilitates traffic flow in high traffic areas. The Bipart Delay switch controls the speed at which the door or gate opens. When the switch is set to off, the door will open at the default speed of 8 inches per second. When the switch is set to on, the door will open at the fast open speed of 11 inches per second. MyQ technology lets the HCT DCU communicate with an internet gateway so users can control the operator using a mobile device. The Learn button is used to program communication between the operator and the internet gateway. It's also used to enter programming mode for accessories, including adding a total of 50 Security Plus 2.0 remote controls or KPW250 keypads and two 877 MAX keyless entries. The LED diagnostic display is an important troubleshooting tool. When you turn on the operator, the diagnostic code display will show HC for HCT operator, 24 for 24 volts, followed by the firmware version. The stop, close, and open buttons allow you to access and scroll through the diagnostic code history. A variety of error conditions are stored, allowing you to resolve these issues more quickly. A list of diagnostic codes can be found on the wiring diagram as well as in the manual. The timer to close dial allows you to set how long the gate or door remains open before automatically closing. You can set the closing time anywhere from immediate to three minutes. In this example, we've set the timer to close the door after five seconds. With this switch in the off position, the gate or door will remain open until a close command is given. A variety of accessories can be wired directly to the control board using the terminal blocks on the right side. Terminal blocks for entrapment protection and vehicle detection devices are color-coded for easy identification and allow for easy connection of these important safety features. If you want to connect a telephone entry system, external loop detector, or any other device that would cause the gate to open, wire the device to the exit terminal. There are even accessory power terminals that provide 500 milliamps at 24 volts DC for switched and unswitched applications. This operator is also equipped with an expansion board, which is designed to accommodate three additional entrapment protection devices. These inputs feature switches which allow the installer to select whether to protect the open or close direction. The AC fail switch on the expansion board works together with the BAT fail switch on the control board to control the behavior of the operator when AC power is lost. Setting the AC fail switch to open will cause the gate or door to open about 15 seconds after AC power is lost. It will stay open until power is restored. Setting the AC fail switch to BAT will cause the operator to run on battery power. As the battery voltage approaches the critical low of 23 volts, the operator will beep three times when a command is given to move the gate or door. When the voltage drops below 23 volts, the BAT fail switch determines what the operator will do. Setting the BAT fail switch to open causes the gate or door to automatically open after 30 seconds. It will stay open until AC power is restored or the battery voltage increases. Setting the BAT fail switch to close does the opposite causing the gate or door to close and stay closed until AC power is restored or the battery voltage increases. The quick close assists with controlling the flow of traffic by reducing vehicular tailgating. When the switch is off, there is no change to the unit operation. When the switch is on and timer to close is on, 
an opening gate or door will automatically begin to close as soon as a vehicle passes the photo eyes or travels over the wired interrupt loop. The anti-tailgate is also used to control traffic flow. When the switch is on and the interrupt loop is activated, a closing gate or door will pause until the vehicle is clear. Then, the gate or door will continue to close. When the switch is off and the interrupt loop is activated, a closing gate or door will stop and reverse to the open position. There are several relays that can be assigned to do different tasks based on how their switches are set. For example, they can activate an audible device anytime the gate or door is in motion. They also provide an approximate cycle count for the operator in increments of 1,000 cycles. There are also three inputs for LiftMaster's Loop DETLM loop detector that monitors shadow, interrupt, and exit loops. The exit loop fail switch allows you to control the behavior of the gate or door if the Loop DETLM detects a fault with the exit loop. A popular accessory is the red-green traffic light model number RGL24LY and our newest model, the RGL-CTL. It can be used to signal vehicles that the entrance is clear to pass. The light is directly powered from the main control board. The AUX1 and AUX2 switches on the expansion board are used to configure the behavior of the light. This unit will run when the operator is on battery backup power. The LC36A light curtain can be added for supplemental protection on sites where tall vehicles may be present. For information about additional accessories, consult the installation manual. For more information, visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.